Where are you in God? Where are you in your relationship with your Savior? Where do you place yourself? Can you say you are growing? Can you say you are static? Can you say you are actively serving the Lord or you are just a passive Christian? An idle Christian. A Christian by mouth, not by action. Where are you? In your knowledge of the Word of God, where are you? How many of the books of the Bible have you studied? Have you been able to read through the Bible from cover to cover since you believe? You've been a believer 20 years. You've been a believer 30 years. You've been a believer 10 years, 15 years, 5 years. You still have not been able to go through the Bible one time. God is asking, where are you? Where are you in the things of God? Five years ago when you started to believe God, and started this relationship with him, your prayer time does not pass five, ten minutes. Five years after, it still has not crossed five, ten minutes. In fact, now it's less than five minutes. God is asking, where are you? In other words, Adam, you are missing in your normal place. The place I used to come and fellowship with you, I cannot find you there. You are no longer where you are supposed to be. So where are you? Some of us have abandoned our duty posts. Some of us are not serving God the way God has assigned for us to serve. We are serving God on our own terms, not his own terms. Forgetting that you are not the author of the covenant. You are not the initiator of the covenant. And the one who initiated the covenant have already put in place all the things that he wants from you. And you said, yes, Lord. When you said, yes, Lord, you accepted everything God said. So when you said, yes, Lord, you accepted everything God said. You accepted everything God said. You said, Lord, I accept all the details of the covenant and I'm going to abide by it. And now you have come halfway, you are changing it. You now want to detect for God. You now want to tell God how you should serve him. It doesn't work that way. So God is saying, Adam, you have abandoned the normal spot, the usual place, the place of meeting. I can't find you there. I've come there several times. You are not there. The time you booked to pray together, I came there several times. I didn't find you at the appropriate place. You were not praying. You were sleeping. You were playing. Instead of praying like we agreed, you are sleeping. Instead of studying like we agreed, you are doing something else. Phone has taken over your life. Facebook has taken over your life. Instagram has taken over your life. You no longer have time for God. You can spend hours with your phone looking at things that do not edify you and you cannot even spend five minutes to study the word in a day. God is asking, where are you?